Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Boulder Bond. Welcome back. As promised, I am back with another Hobonichi 2020 haul. This time it is from Amazon. I thought I would show you guys a little bit of a difference between the Amazon store and the Hobonichi website. So this is actually from the English Amazon site. A lot of people have been getting um, their Hobonichis from the Japanese Amazon website, but this one is just from a regular Amazon. So let's go ahead and get this guy open. All right, so they have some paper in here. That's nice of Amazon. Usually they don't really include extra packaging. Um, but, oh, I did get one other thing that is not from Hobonichi. Um, this is the Precision Cutter. It's a ceramic blade um, called Slice. I've been needing one of those precision cutters, um, and this looked really nice um, and not so scary like a little scalpel. So this will be really nice to cut washi and stickers with. So that's just a little extra that I picked up. You guys can see it's just one little Hobonichi. Now the main reason why I actually got this from Amazon and not the Hobonichi website is because it was sold out until the end of November on the Hobonichi website, um, also on Jet Pens, and it was available on Amazon. Um, so I got the cover and the A6 Hobonichi Techo Planner in the English version. Um, this is a January 2020 start. So very nice. Um, you guys can see I did get a cover for this planner. I am so super excited about it. So this one is actually called the Bon Bon Bitter Cover. Um, oh my gosh, I love it, love it already. Um, of course, I had to get the Bon Bon cover because our shop character is Bon Bon. Now they also have another Bon Bon cover in the A5 version and that one is called Sweet. Um, it has more of a pink and beige um, pastel color, which actually is something that I would prefer um, over this bold um, color bitter. Oh my gosh, I was almost a little bitter that the Sweet wasn't on the A6. So, so you may actually see another order from Hobonichi a little later down the line. Um, but for now, I have this and it is gorgeous. So the cover actually is made of polyester so it's not cotton or canvas which I actually thought it was it does have like a little slickness to it also a little bit of texture um, there is a pocket on the outside here very nice I love the stitching now the jet pen site said that these are actually all handmade so they're individually handmade um, so that is really nice the loops on the side here are extra big. I thought that they were a little bit bigger um, on the site, so I'm glad to see that they're not as big in person. Um, they just looked like they were obtrusive to the planner, but it actually looks very nice in person. On the inside here, we have a couple extra pockets. We also have a little pocket here, and then another one down below, along with two bookmarks. Now, I typically cut my bookmarks off of the Hobonichi Weeks Planner, um, but the Techo Planner does not have bookmarks, and I may end up using these because I can just push them out of the side when I am taking pictures. When I um, took pictures in my Hobonichi Weeks, they always just seem to be in the way, and I never really use them to bookmark my place. So on the right-hand side, there are a couple extra more pockets, so one down below, a little side pocket here and then one up top so lots of bun pockets I'm so excited and then um, a pocket like I said on the reverse so this is the Hobonichi Techo Planner let's go ahead and move this out of the way so I can go over this little guy now the main difference between ordering this on the Amazon site and the Hobonichi website is of course shipping um, if I was to actually order this and the cover on the Hobonichi website, um, shipping would have been about $20, um, and there was no extra shipping on Amazon. Um, also, this was a little bit more expensive on Amazon, so to get the cover and the book on Amazon, I believe it was $63, um, 
and a little bit less on Hobonichi. So it ended up working out to being $10 um, more if you ordered it on the Hobonichi website. But if you did order on the website, you would get freebies. So you would have also gotten a Hobonichi red Uniball pen um, with a black, blue, and red ink. You'd also get a little plain card deck of like Japanese poetry cards. Um, I do not have that because I just ordered the Hobonichi Weeks from the website, so I don't have that to show you. But for $10 extra, you would also have gotten two little freebies. I personally would have gone for the freebies but like I said these were not actually available on the Hobonichi website um, until late November and I personally want to play with my planner right now. All right, so the first thing in here is this cute little card with this embossing in silver here. Very nice. It says the Hobonichi Techo Planner 2020. What you are holding in your hand is a Techo, a Japanese daily planner. You'll find the Japanese characters for Te and Cho on the cover. A Techo in Japan is used for more than scheduling an agenda. It is also used as a sketchbook and a diary and for other jottings that together tend to chronicle its owner's daily life. Each day comes on a page that you can customize to fit your creative instincts and includes a distinctive quote that has been selected from the Hobo Nikon Etoy Shinbun website, Hobonichi for short. This edition was planned and produced by Hobo Nikon Etoy Shinbun with creative direction by Arts and Science. And then there is another little thing down here just going over the Hobonichi website and then the arts and science. So that is really nice. They have that in English and then they also have that in Japanese. And then they also include a little comic. Now I've gotten two of these from my Hobonichi Weeks but they are in Japanese and how adorable is this? It is in English. Yay! Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I get to actually read what it says. How cute. And then it also has the English examples and things like that here. Yay! I am so super excited that I got the English version. Now I can actually have a translation of what all that fun stuff said on the other comics. So that is really nice. Now the English version is in this black cover with the embossing on the front here. On the side it has a gold hobo and 2020 on the bottom. Now I don't know if you guys can see the ridging in here. That is where the stitching is. So that is a really nice. That is what helps this planner to stay flat whenever you open it. Oh my gosh, I love it already. Now the Hobonichi Techo um, have the Tomo River paper just like the Hobonichi weeks except the Hobonichi Weeks is in a yellow paper where the Tomo River paper on here is white. Ah, even better. It's just getting better and better. Now, um, this may become my main planner um, because it is a daily planner, which I love. Um, and then I have the weeks here. So I can do the daily planning in the A6 and then my weekly planning in the Hobonichi Weeks. The front cover is textured but feels more of like a thicker card stock. Um, and then we move on to the front page here where you have the yearly calendar view. It starts with 2020 and then 2021. And then the next page is like your yearly overview page. So it starts with December 2019. So you guys can back plan a little bit and put it in your new planner, all the things for December. Um, it has number one to 31 and then the corresponding day on the right hand side and then there are little graph boxes now I see a lot of people use this as a monthly task reminder which I think is a wonderful idea um, and then this goes all the way to I believe March of uh, 20. 
21. So you have a little bit of extra planning space in here um, so you can pre-plan before you get your new planner for 2021. I love that. And then it goes into your monthly calendars. This starts in December 2019. So if you do get it early, you can go ahead and start planning um, for the month. Now, I don't believe it starts um, with daily planning until the first of January, um, but let's go ahead and see. Yeah, so it does look like it gives you the December 2019 month to March 2021. You guys can see it does say 2021 on here, so that is nice that um, it's just a little reminder that is moving on to the next year. And then it starts with January 1st. So before that, they do give you two extra pages. It says turning the page to a new year. Um, and then January 1st. On the left-hand side here, it says coming up blank. And then on the right is your daily page. So up top, it has the number one, the day of the week, the month, and then it also has the moon phase here. I love that. Um, I think I might use this as my little quote of the day. Um, down on the grid portion here, it does have a little line here. And then in the middle, there is a number 12. And then on the bottom, um, there is a little like fork and knife to keep track of your dinners if you like. Um, and then there is a little quote on the bottom here in English. And then on the right hand side is a little calendar area. Um, and that um, is the same for all of the days. Now let's go ahead and peek at um, February. All right, and then for February, it has the coming up, so a blank page on the left here, and then all of your daily pages. I wanted to make sure um, that it didn't have the extra two graph papers um, before each month. So that is just the start of the planner, and then it goes into the coming up for each monthly page. They also highlight every Sunday in this red ink, so you definitely cannot miss that Sunday is there. So all of the Sundays are in a light red. Now let's go ahead and flip to the back of the planner and see what other goodies we have in here. So it ends with December 31st and then it goes into extra bullet pages. So these are actually red bullets instead of the gray graph that you get throughout the planner. So um, there are several of these pages so you can use them as extra bullet journaling pages in here, um, maybe some collections if you like, or just extra list taking. And then it also has some important contacts here, international size charts, um, even for hat rings, uh, that's really fun. Um, US, UK, Europe, and Japan, it looks like. Um, there's a conversion table here, a little ruler here, um, my 100, which they actually have in the Hobonichi Weeks as well. Um, and then this is really nice. It says local festivals in Japan, um, all these fun things. Oh, I cannot wait to read all of this. The Japanese bento. Oh, yummy. I definitely want to have some of that now. And then the last page in here is a personal note page where you can put your name, address, home, cell phone, fax, and email. So that is a look at my teeny order from Amazon, my little brand new Hobonichi A6 planner, and my Bonbon bon Bitter cover. Let's go ahead and put this little guy in here. I think I will probably just put the back cover in. I do see people flip it over and put the front cover on this side, but I actually quite like seeing the front cover here. Um, and then I can put the ribbons on very nicely and choose different spots there. Very cute. Um, now I use a couple different pens. Um, my Arteza pens is what I actually use a lot in the Hobonichi weeks. I wanted to see if this will fit inside the loops here um, because they look so big I didn't think that this would fit but guys it does and it doesn't slip out 
Ooh, yay, very exciting. Yes, I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my second Hobonichi 2020 unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe to see my third unboxing coming up shortly. If you didn't see my first unboxing, I will leave a little card over here. Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.